2009, uh, she said, if it were possible to take interest rates into negative territory, I would be voting for that. In other words, negative interest rates is you have a deposit of $100,000 at the beginning of the year and you only get $95,000 back. Technically, it can be implemented. It's difficult, but it's easy to do negative interest rates in real terms. We have a zero Fed fund rate, basically, and we have cost of living increases. The very rapid growth that China experienced, say, 1999 to a year ago, is going to slow down. We had annual growth rates, who knows? Nobody trusts the statistics of any government. But we had growth rates of, say, between 8 to 12 percent in real terms. And now, in my view, trend-wise, will slow down to, say, maximum 4 percent. We have to adjust a lot of economic statistics for the credits they push into the system. That is not sustainable in the long run. In the long run, we had a huge bull market in gold, 1999 to 2011. We peaked out at 1,921. We went down to 1,180. We're now slightly above 1,300. I think gold, and especially gold equities, is relatively, again, relative inexpensive. You understand, with zero interest rates, you misprice all the assets. Very difficult to make a judgment what is a cheap asset in absolute terms, nothing is inexpensive in the asset markets anymore. But gold and silver are, in my view, relatively inexpensive. The S&P is relatively high.